welcome back to my channel. So as you guys know, Valentine's Day is just around the corner. So I thought I'll create this Valentine's Day look for you. And if you like this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so I've already prepped and primed my eyelids and I've also uh, made my eyebrows as well off camera. And I'm going to be taking my transition color and this color is a very, uh, it's a very light neutral brown shade. And I'm just gonna grab this blending brush and I'm gonna take this in my crease. Uh, just make sure when you pick up the product, you wanna pick up a little at a time and then you can also grab, you know, you can always grab more to make, to define the crease a bit more. Okay, so the next color I'm grabbing is this really nice baby pink uh, color. And I'm going to take this into a flat shading brush. It's a very tiny brush, um, so I can take this very easily in my inner corners. And just make sure that you're, uh, you know, tapping the product onto your eyelids. Don't try to swipe. Like right now I'm swiping, but I'm just trying to get the shape in my eyelids. And then, you know, just keep on building the shade as you like. Okay, so the next color I'm grabbing is this really nice fuchsia color and I'm just gonna take this with a longer flat brush and I'm gonna just place this color in the center of my eyelids. Uh, what I forgot to mention is that these uh, eyeshadows are actually velvet uh, so they have a little bit of shine and glare and so they're, they are glittery eyeshadows which you know makes them easier to work with and they glide very easily. So now I'm just grabbing my uh, blending brush again and I'm just blending out uh, the two colors together so that there is no harsh lines and I didn't pick up any extra products as well. Okay, so the last color I'm picking up is this burgundy red color and I'm taking it in with a pencil brush and I'm going to define my outer corner and it's just a V. So again, I want to emphasize this uh, even more on this part. Uh, you know, you want to pick up less product at the first time and then keep picking up products as darker as you want it to be. mind that when I'm also doing my outer corner I'm going it at a diagonal uh, orientation I'm not keeping it straight so I want to um, you know really bring out the cat eye uh, with the outer corner and I'm just going in back with the blending brush and uh, you know just blending out the creases that there's no harsh lines So at this part, I'm just going back in and um, you know making the, making the colors a bit more vibrant and making sure that if any color is dull, I'm just going back in with the same colors uh, to redefine them and to re uh, you know make them a bit more visible as well. Again, you just want to blend that again so that it's very smooth. Okay, so this is a glitter uh, kit that I actually got from Dubai when I went there. And they have many different colors, but this is like a clear white. And this is like a loose powder. And I'm just going to take this in my inner corners and in my um, you know inner part of my eyelids. And like I said, it is loose powder. Now, if you want, you can grab an adhesive and just glue that on. Uh, but I like it pretty loose. So now I'm just grabbing just another flat brush and I'm just evening out the glitter so that uh, it's pretty even and there's no clumps in the uh, in the process. And then again, I'm blending it again. 
So you can pretty much see that I'm blending out every time I put more product because you want it uh, to be a grading effect. Okay, so now I'm just cleaning up under my eyelids uh, if there's any fallout and I'm just giving a, uh, you know, a crisp line to my eyeshadow. So I've just applied my eyeliner and my false lashes and I'm going to be going in with my coal pencil liner as well. This is just a black coal pencil liner and I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna line this with my waterline as well. Okay, so for my face, I'm going to be using a liquid um, liquid foundation, and this is by Rimmel. I think it's in the color bronze, and I'm just taking this all over my face. <laughs> and I'm just blending it out with a damp beauty blender. So now I'm just going in with a lighter shade of the foundation and I think this is my Maybelline and I'm just taking this below my eyes and just lightening that area. and then just blend it out with the same beauty blender. Okay, so now I'm just grabbing a loose powder and I'm just setting um, the foundation that I just applied. Uh, so this is, I'm just applying this under my eyes, uh, the, the bridge of my nose, uh, my cupid's bow, and as well uh, between my eyebrows. And then just blend it out with a really big fluffy brush like so. Okay, so I'm getting this synthetic brush and I'm just going to apply my bronzer with this. And this is I think like two shades darker than my actual foundation. And I'm just taking this in my cheekbones, my temples, uh, my chin and as well as my uh, nose. So for my nose contouring, I'm actually grabbing a lighter shade of um, powder. Moving on to my blush. And I'm just taking this in my, um, in the top of my cheekbones and the apples of my cheeks as well.
So I'm just grabbing my favorite highlighter and I'm just um, highlighting my cupid's bow, uh, the bridge of my nose, uh, my cheekbones right above it, and uh, just a little bit on my chin as well, and my temples as well. And then just blend it out with a fan brush. Okay, going back to my eyes, I'm just going to uh, smoke out the coal that I applied and I'm doing so uh, with the same pencil brush and I just picked a black eyeshadow and I'm just smoking it out. Uh, make sure there's no harsh lines when you're doing this and so everything is blended and it has a very great gradient effect. And then if there's any fallout, just make sure to remove them with a fat brush like so. Okay, so now I'm going in with my highlighting shade for my, um, for my brow bone. And it's just a very uh, white pigment that I'm just picking up with a flat brush. Make sure this is also blended out as well. Okay, so now I'm going in with another small brush and a white cream formula, and I'm just applying this in my inner tear duct area to highlight that. And then I'm just blending it out with a sponge brush. So now for my lips, I'm actually going in with a matte liquid uh, lipstick. And I really like this color. And I'm just going in with it. So this is the final look. And then this is just a close-up of the eye. So you can tell that everything is pretty much blended and the key to makeup um, is definitely to blend so that there's no harsh lines and everything looks pretty neat. That's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. See you guys on my next one. Bye guys. I smiled. Was it fine? <laughs> You're smiling at me. Yo. I ruined it. No smile. <laughs> I want bloopers. This is really funny. <laughs> no, if you smile, I can't do it. Well, I didn't know. Okay. okay.